Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History World with Goober the Traveling Bear. And we are at Jerusalem Mills and we're going to check out the general store. Now, I've been told that Goober the Traveling Bear has a job here. We're going to go into the general store. It's open one to four Saturdays and Sundays and special events. Let's see what they have in here. Well, as you walk into the, the Old Time General Store Museum, it's quite impressive. Um, let's go into the modern general store where they actually sell products. And we'll get some information from Miss Betsy. Good morning, Miss Betsy. Oh my goodness, I see you have Goober the Traveling Bear working at the counter with you. Yes, he is. He came to visit us today. So thank you for coming out today and seeing us. We've got our newly restored, renovated, refurbished general store gift shop for the Friends of Jerusalem Bill. Well, this counter, I, I just zoomed in on this counter. It's incredible, the woodwork on it. So a local gentleman, he um, used local oak and local walnut and constructed this counter for us and it is all constructed in old time um, carpentry fabrication that they did. And there's no nails in it so it's just a lovely piece that I think really accents the general store gift shop. Wow. Well, would you mind showing me around what you have here for sale? Sure. So here we have um, some hiking stick medallions, if people like those. I know a lot of people like to hike. And then we have keychains as well with our logo on them. So you take the medallion and you put it on your walking stick. Would yep. that be correct? And then we have walking sticks here too, but they have little nails in there. And then you can affix that to your walking stick. And I think a lot of people use them as kind of like a, a badge of everywhere that they visited. Okay. And then on the walls, with the exception of the painting behind the counter, all the other artwork that's here are local plein air artists, and they are of either here in the village or near the village in the, the, the vicinity of the village. And um, you can see there's all different types of art, different um, styles of art as well. So like the paintings on the walls are for sale. Would that yes, be correct? they're all for sale. And Oh my gosh, you have Struggle for New France. Um, that's we a board do. game by Bill Molyneux. Yes, we do. And then we have some old time candy that people can buy. And we also have local honey here. All right. A gentleman me... from Joppa Town. He has uh, beehives and we purchase all his honey to sell in the general store. And we recently restocked. And then we also have... Um, now, you know, the, the honey is... Those are big jars of honey. They are. And is he, um, is he local here in the area? Yes, he's from Joppa. Okay. So it's about 10 miles from here where he lives. And... Um, he and I kind of connected and we sold out recently and we got more. And then this time he had these very nice large jars of honey. Wow. And that's $25 for a giant jar of honey. And my wife loves honey. it's 32 ounces, I believe. Yes, 32 okay. ounces. So from what I understand is if you suffer from allergies and you use local honey every day, it kind of like gives you like an inoculation okay. of the... Um, the allergens that are in the area and it helps you feel better so it's like getting a vaccine almost so I don't know if that's true or not but that's what I've always heard oh. we also have um, custom mugs that have our logo on them and they're for sale as well and we sold out a lot of those before Christmas too very nice um, what do we have around the corner so over here we have some tin from our tinsmith on site that different items that he's made and then we also have some um, collector things. Um, we have little shot glasses that with a donation you can take home with you. 
And then we also have, uh, this is the logo that was actually used in the mill years ago because we had white silk flower. And this is the original logo. And then we had it on these pint glasses. Oh, that is really nice. That like to have a pint glass. We have um, some note cards. Okay. Um, somewhere of the Jericho Covered Bridge that's just down the road here. And then some of the mill. And then we have um, more games from Bill Molyneux. We have the, the French Indian War, and we have French Indian War II, which features a, a state, a Mar another Maryland state park. Um, that is Fort Frederick. And what else do we have? More art. More on art. Walls. All right. Well. And then we have down here. We have a local basket weaver. One of our volunteers is a basket maker, and then um, a local lady, Joan Betzold. Her baskets are down here on our lower level if you'd like to come down Yes. Um, now these baskets here, the, are these shopping baskets up here, Miss Betsy? Or are they these... are. Those are shopping baskets, so we encourage everybody to use one so they don't have to worry about juggling and holding all their purchases. Well, I have one question before I come down the stairs. Um, my wife, she's a big shopper. Where are the shopping carts kept? I'm sorry, we can't have shopping carts. They didn't have those then. Okay, um, I'm coming down the stairs. I'm going to turn off the camera for this. Okay. We are on the lower level. Take me around here. So over here we have baskets from a local, um, Joan Betzold, and also from Kit Wattenberger, who is one of our volunteers here, and he makes baskets as well. And um, we have more tin. And then we have these lovely coasters that are millstones. Wow, they're cool. They're very nice. These are not local, but we figured that they were um, indicative of what we do here. And then we have some um, holiday note cards that we had printed up this year with our logo, which I think are really lovely. And then our local artisan, resident artisan um, and director of the museum, uh, Rebecca Weber, she created all of these little sienna type cards, and these are all made with items that were found on site. Let me get a close up, okay. So each one is an original and different, but they're all using the same method. And then here we have a lot of very nice blacksmith items from our blacksmith. Which you have a blacksmith shop on We do on have a site. blacksmith shop on site and you visited and got to see those folks. We also have a blacksmith school here as well. Very nice, and these are really, um, really nifty to have. Now, some of the items we have are historically correct, and then some are um, creative, modern adaptations for people. So you don't have to be, if you're not interested in historic items, you can have original artistic items, like this candlestick holder for your home as well. Okay. And then we have more art that's more modern than the other pieces we have. Okay. Another plein air artist. And this road is the one that leads north out of the village, and this is the one that leads south going into Baltimore. And this is the one where, when I am visiting, I have to watch myself from the cars that are coming. Yes, because they think this is a speedway. <laughs> and then over here, we have a lot of different historic toys, and we have more of Bill Molyneux's games. Oh, yes, we do. And the Bloody Mohawk is long since discontinued. Um, so that is the one of the originals. And the Pickett's Charge game I'm no longer producing. So uh, if you want one of those, they are here because you can't buy them anywhere else at this and point. And we're happy to ship things as well if people would like that. We can arrange for that. Well, can you tell me about some of these um, things you have on the pegs. Sure. So we have a lot of very different things. First we have, you know, not just a toy, but we have for young ladies that might want a hand fan as a woman in the colonial era might have had. And then we have different toys from different periods in history. And this one is a little chicken game. And it's very sweet. And when you turn it, the chickens well, that's neat, and it's nice that you have these out. The kids can see how they actually work. Yes. And then there's a ball and cup toy, which I'm not very good at. And then there's a version of quoits. There's a little paddle game here with a ball that 
some grandmothers like to use Very for nice. other purposes. And you have a f uh, looks like um, uh, a lot of yo-yos. Is that a flute? I'm sorry, a, a penny whistle. Yes. So There's one of those left. Yeah, we gotta send one of those home with the kids. Along with drive a drive everybody crazy in the car. <laughs> so what do we have over on this one? A lot one? of tops, and then these little things are called, I forget what they're called, a puddle jumper. Okay. So it's really nice because you just take your hands and then you um, rub them together very quickly and then you release it into the air and then it works like a little propeller and it launches wherever you send it. Well, that's neat. And then tops, which are always fun. We have a few here that the kids can try out. Now, I, I have to say, when I see these tops, I haven't thought about them in years, but when I was in kid and kindergarten, we used to have tops and they you would have them bop into each other. So mm -hmm. that's a nice memory you, you brought yep. back to me that I mm -hmm. forgot all about tops. And then we have um, cool pens. So if anybody would like to try their hand at writing like our... Like Ben Franklin. Yes. Or even Thomas Jefferson. Well, and wonderful. that's about it. All right. That's well, everything we have. Thank you so much for coming today. Well, thank you. And I have to ask, um, where are we located and what are our hours? So we are in Kingsville, Maryland. This is the Friends of Jerusalem Mill in Jerusalem Mill Village. And we're open weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, 1 to 4 p.m. Well, thank you very much for this neat tour. I'm sorry Goober doesn't work so well. And everyone out there, please stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and come and visit Jerusalem Mills.